name's David Airy and I'm in charge of equipment design and development here at Whistler Technologies. Uh, I'm here today to show you our smallest cold water extraction system, the WT Micro. Let's check it out. So what we're looking at here is the WT Micro and the run and dump configuration. You'll notice as well this particular customer has opted for the pharmaceutical grade temperature sensor and temperature sensor display. Nice digital display there with uh, flush mount pharmaceutical grade temperature probe in the bottom of the tank. So on this particular model we've got VFD controls for the agitator speed as well as the uh, hash pump. And what you'll see on the left hand side there is a small recirculation pump uh, that's going to take care of recirculation from our brand new collection bucket which I'll touch on later. Very simple controls on these guys, these are wash down rated, very high quality pieces of equipment. Uh, it's pretty simple, on button, choose your direction, choose your speed. Nice and easy, easy for the operators uh, and a really robust solution. One of the first things you'll probably notice is the use of pharmaceutical grade wash down components uh, all around on the WT Micro. So the WT Micro comes as standard with 316 stainless steel surfaces, uh, a nice number four polish on all of those product touching surfaces as well for easy cleanability. Uh, of course with all of our systems we provide 100% drainability following the uh, BioPharma uh, standards. On the right hand side here, we've got the agitator vessel, it's 150 litre capacity, and that's gonna get you up to 20 kilograms of fresh frozen uh, throughput per batch, or six kilograms dry. Comes with our proprietary double torus mixing pattern, and 220 or 260 micron false bottom, uh, that's gonna do a first stage filtration inside of the tank. So moving around to this side of the agitation tank, we'll just take you for a quick tour. We've got our hash pump hidden on the bottom there. Nice sanitary drain with sight glass and uh, pharmaceutical grade butterfly valve. Uh, that pump's going to take care of moving your hash laden water from the agitation tank into the collection bucket. Just coming around to the other side of the agitation tank here, you'll notice that blue hose connected into the system. That's connected via a three-way ball valve and that's going to allow us to introduce fresh water into our tank, either into the agitation tank or into our collection bucket. So on the WT Micro run and dump configuration, what you'll find here on the left hand side is a small recirculation pump. That pump is connected to our mobile hoop bucket and that's going to take care of recirculating water from here back to there. You guys a sneak peek of what it looks like inside of our agitation vessel. You'll notice I've moved the motor swing arm out of the way and the impeller is now gone. So if we move to the inside you'll notice baffles that help with our double torus mixing pattern. A really nice pharmaceutical grade 260 micron false bottom and custom gasket. To manipulate the motor swing arm, it's a simple matter of retracting the spring pin plunger here to give that a bit of a yank. That releases the, the swing arm from its current position. You're able to then rotate it back to the center of the tank and you'll watch it snap in there. Nice positive location. Everything's nice and solid, ready to go. So this is our latest collection unit at Whistler Technologies. Uh, this particular unit is 150 liter volume. You'll notice on either side of the bucket, we've got our standard uh, snap lock buttons here. Uh, and they correspond with buttons we put in our bubble bags. Uh, those buttons are going to give you positive location of all of your bags and a really nice separation of bags with inside the vessel. And one thing I'm sure you're looking at right now and noticing is this wobble hoop arrangement we've got on top. We've been through a couple of iterations on this guide. I'm really happy where this has landed. Uh, this allows you to manipulate, shake and work the bags without ever having to remove them from the bucket, without ever having to lift them manually. The bucket takes all of the load and you simply manipulate or shake those bags in a simple action just like this. So I've just thrown on a 220 bag for demonstration purposes. You can notice I've got it in the third snap position here and that's going to get that bag pretty much to the bottom of this bucket with a couple of inches to spare which is really nice. So this is a typical configuration of the bags when you're doing continuous flow or when you're deep watering your hash. And as mentioned earlier, simple motion of shaking those bags all the weight is taken. So when it's time to start collecting your hash, it's a simple matter of moving the bags from some of the upper snap lock positions down to the lower snap positions like I've done here. This is gonna present the bag in a really nice ergonomic uh, height and uh, position ready for collection. Uh, while you're spraying down your hash and dewatering, of course, this wobble hoop again allows you to work those bags nice and easy, single hand operation, no sweat.